to the madness! Alright folks, how's it going? The name's Deathy and welcome back to another episode of Sly 3 on Among Thieves for the PlayStation 2. Okay, so we're in episode 4, we're, we're in China. And the whole reason why we're here is to try and ally ourselves with our old enemy, the Panda King. Now apparently we have to rescue his daughter from this General Sao. And hopefully we'll try and get a demolition expert for the team, eh? Right, okay, so episode 4. Yeah, it's going to be the first time we're going to be looking around episode 4, so this could be kind of cool, actually. Alright, so first of all, what we need to do is, uh, we don't have enough. You need to buy a grapple cam if you want to do Bentley's job, by the way. So, I think we will save Bentley's for last, I think. Let's go do Murray's. Murray's is um, such the toughest one out of the three, in my opinion. But yeah, this is, uh, this is China, basically. This is actually... I would say this is actually my favourite map in the game. Like honestly, it's just it's just so cool looking. You've got different elements, you've got different different approaches. It's it's really, really cool. It really is. So anyway, we have Grapple Cam, get a job, and yeah, so we do. Do we do the reunion first? Uh yeah, we'll do the reunion first. So yeah, so pretty cool. Yeah. And not to mention it's a pretty nice safe house as well. Like I could see myself living here, you know? Hmm. I could see myself living in that safe house. Kind of cool that we got a panda there as well, so this must be the Panda Kings or so. Okay, right, anyway, let's go do a uh, tier 4 reunion, I think it was called. Yep, tier 4 reunion. So I don't know what that means then, yes. Miss Foxy Leader herself is here. Alright, also, I need to... I need to get some coins as well. Because, like I said, we need 400 coins for uh, the grapple camp. Alright, Sapphire 91, thing I'll do actually. Oh yeah, just about. Alright. See you later, Mr. Tiger. I think it was the coin. Hmm. It's like Carmelito was getting busy. Now, I think you can actually pit pocket Carmelito, but obviously you can't do the uh the haggle thing. The uh juggle thing. <laughs> nope, she'll just bounce off of it. Honestly, it's kind of funny that you can actually land on that. Alright. Trying to get my ass up here if possible. Come on. Nice. Alright, here we go then. Tier 4 reunion. The mysterious signal I picked up was somewhere on the water's surface. I'm not seeing anything. Keep scanning. These readings are clear. Great snakes on a stick! I don't believe it! What? You found the signal? It's the team van! Last time I saw it, it was floating away on a block of ice in Canada! And now it's here! Highly probable, given ocean currents. I gotta go get it! Don't worry, baby! Mama's coming! Don't even think about swimming, Murray! That water's freezing! You wouldn't last a minute. But... but my baby! <laughs> Hold your position. I should be able to drag the van to you using my RC chopper. Bless you, Penelope! Bless you and your bag of remote control gizmos. Pretty much, yeah, the team van is here. Cool. Right, so we've got this fucking annoying thing to do as well. Uh, I think before you... I've never really actually tried this, but I think before you can pull that, I think you can actually deal with the guards. Most of the time, I don't even bother. I just go for the block and then just take whatever damage is there, but I think you can actually... Uh, you can actually take them out. I think that would be a lot easier. Butterfly and ball, freak face. I think that's them all. Nope, one more. Turn hard to juke out those missiles. Yep. I saw it on TV. What's funny enough is the uh, top left hand corner. The chopper health is green instead of um, purple, I think. Whatever color, you, whatever color it was for Penelope. Hello, Steeler. There we go. I think, is that it? Nope, got one more. There we go. Yeah, I've actually did that before. Normally what I do is I just sort of just grab it and pull it because you will be constantly under fire, so... It's actually... It's actually a lot more easier to do that. You would have thought. Oh shit. Yeah, I forgot about that. The missiles. Uh, I took off a good chunk of health. Too busy nattering on. <laughs> so the folks still surviving. <laughs> Oh, what the fuck? Ah, uh, caught in the leg. Alright. Be a bit almost there. 
I'm on the right. Say what? Whoa, no, thank you. That would have been the end of that. Almost there. Come on. Xbox spot. There we go. Hit you. Oh, my sweet man. How I missed you. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. I'll break you out of your icy prison. Can you have a slight game with the team van, though? Careful, Murray. The locals seem to be on to you. Yeah, that's not good. Let him come. Mr. Spirit Pig. There's monkeys as well. They're also annoying. So yeah, so basically the monkeys have um, kind of like a similar attack to the... What am I thinking of? The dingoes. Is it the dingoes? Yeah. They have a similar attack to the dingoes, you know, with the, um, the claw up and down sort of thing. Um, what else? Jesus. Yeah, these pig enemies are the worst. Also, they can throw cards as well, and that's all. Just jump over and should be fine. But yeah, basically, enemies are getting really, really annoying. Mm -hmm. Okay, are we done? Thank you. Jesus, so yeah. The guards are annoying in this. Why is it? Why is it always the fucking little guards that are the most annoying? I don't know, I'd rather face like six or so flashlight guards than those little fucks, honestly. It's no use, Murray. This area is too dangerous. We have to recover the van later. But I can't lose her again. Forget the van, you'll never make it. But no, no. Either help me or get out of my way. I'm bringing her home. Mm -hmm. Yep, we're not losing the team on again. Hell no. So a nice little slide to reference here, which is a lot fucking harder than this then slide to. Again, we don't have the shadows to guide the um, hook. Come on you, thank you. Adios. So basically we're just going to protect Murray really, anticipate where the guys are coming from and just wing them out the way. I just went wing them. <laughs> I was trying to say f fling them and wing. Ugh, you know what I mean. Try to say fling them, but I ended up saying a, a W instead. W H. Wing them. Okay, this one's the priority, and then we'll go back for this one. I'll tell you what, I'm getting. Now, oh, Fuck. Remember the van. Yep. Must save van. I was actually got lucky. With, I'm getting lucky with these uh, claw grabs. The the area of hit scanning is quite generous. Well, the hit scan area. Come on, you. <laughs> when pigs fly, eh? Okay, we're alright. Nope, just got a monkey here. Away you go. Come on, no. Perfect. Alright, about halfway there now. Nice. Keep it going, Murray. Yep, and we got a little surprise. Sorry, Murray, but I'm out of fuel and I can't do anything about those spikes in your way. But we're so close! Mm -hmm. You did your best. We just ran out of options. No, we don't. He's right, Murray. Because I'm heavy firepower. Get out of there! Save yourself! I will not! I will never leave her behind again! Words do tear at a father's heart. Would that I had such passion when they came from my little Jing King. Fear not, brave hippo. I will destroy the spikes blocking your path. Be careful with those fireworks, Panda King. A careless shot could hurt Murray. So, use the right now to zoom in and out, and basically just stop the fire. But yeah, just watch out. Those fireworks do have um, AoE splash damage, so you will end up doing a little bit of friendly fire to Murray. We don't want to hit old Murray, old Murster, do we? Hit me all you oh want. shit, where the hell did you come from? Dogs will not hurt that man. Where did that guy the come from then? King forbids it. Honestly, that's why I said this mission's hard. 
the hardest freak. In fact, I think it's like top five hardest missions altogether, really. Just because A, you don't want to cause any damage to Bree, and B, and B, you got to keep a constant eye on him. Come, vermin, rush to your doom. The Panda King reigns again. Not to mention, you can actually get very, very, uh, very surrounded here, actually. Come on, Ray, keep going, man. I don't fancy doing this again. All because fucking. Was it paying attention to your health, dude? Sebi. Fucking friendly fire, are you kidding? Oh my god. I think it would have been a lot better if he just went left and over the bridge. Because I feel the bridge would be sturdy enough for the team van, right? So I'm thinking anyway. Hey, hey, ho. Try and try again, right? So yeah, so basically just, just do some suppressive fire. Oh, you bastard. Yeah, did you see that then? Fucking monkey flipped up and attacks immediately. That's annoying. Come on now. Right, let's just clear the area first if we can. Yeah, there's uh no there's an overheat as well. Nice. Good thing is though these fireworks. Oh, you fuck! That was two hits then. Is this that they lunge? They lunge forwards. Super annoying. It's all right. Keep it going, Murray. Keep it going. I'm not too worried about the guy in the back because the van blocks him off to some degree. Ooh. Oh, no, 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 you bastard. Stay the fuck away, man. Oh, that was close. Oh. It's fucking close. This close. Oh, my God. Fucking well done, Deathy. In my soul, <laughs> I feel awake for the first time in Jesus. Years. No, thank you, Panda King. You can ride in my van anytime. You got shotgun for like a month. A great honor. I accept. Hmm. All right, well, now that's out of the way, I can breathe now. Seriously, that job is really, really hard. I mean, I made it look moderately decent, but. I'm telling you, that can take from upwards to two to five attempts for me, most times. I'm so glad we got that over and done with, I have to say that now. Okay, right, so let's buy this grapple cam then, since it's, uh, mandatory. Right, and we'll do Sly's job. So the thing about Sly is, we will control Sly for, like, the first, like, half of it. And then we will control Bentley. For the remainder, which sets up nicely, so it means we can go straight to, uh... Bentley's job then afterwards. Now I don't remember is it on the other side. It is on the other side, so we better off going right. Okay, no problem. But yeah, this is a this is a really really cool map. I've said that like three times though, Anta. I can't help it. I am a big 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 sucker for uh Asian architecture. That's what I was gonna say then. You know, when you look at the architecture of, like, you know, China, Japan, uh, Thailand, those kind of areas, you know, with the temples and, like, you know, the mountains and stuff. I don't know, I just find that so cool, you know, old, like, myth, uh, like, old school. I mean, it's just, it's just cool, you know? Not to mention, I wonder. I wonder if there's any, um, like, episode 4 Sly 1 references in this map. I never really thought about that. Shit. Yeah, I was gonna say, stay away from me. Um, stay away from the light zone, Devi. Fucking hell, man. 
Uh, shit. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Desk quickly. There we go. Nope, you saw me. Bastard. I thought I'd gotten there in time. Don't bother, don't bother, man. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, okay, smoke bomb. Thank you. Let's get out of there. Honestly. Do you know, honestly, right, that's the thing though, right? Sometimes when you're doing the whole, like, getting out of the way, climbing up things, I swear, I swear in the other games that the actual level of out the zone was a lot, like, a lot less than that. Like, a lot, like, a lot shorter, I guess, in terms of y-axis. But, <laughs> really not. Crazy. Okay, do you have any loot on you, by any chance? No, you do not. Well, I'll still see you. Still see your pocket money anyway. So, Kitty, can you have your milk tonight? Nice. At least I got the health back. Okay, now when's this starting job start? Job start? Well, done, okay. Got it. Do you have anything? No, you don't. But we'll still take your coins anyway. Yeah. We'll get the rest of the gadgets eventually. I'm just, I'm not going out my way just to steal uh, petty change. Especially when there's a better money making method in the next, um, in the next episode. And not to mention that's, uh, and it's not exactly like out of the way, game breaking or anything, it's actually part of the game mechanic. Let's just say we have a little hand of piracy, if you will. Oh, here we go, grapple cam breaking. Protected with a special double padlock. If we can get inside and pass all the security, we should have access to the purchase records for the wedding. So let's get to pickpocketing those keys. I'm afraid it's not that simple. The keys are designed with a self destruct feature, and the guards carrying them are in constant radio contact. I get it. If we steal a key from the first guard, he'll report it in. Then the second guard will destroy his copy before we have time to pull it. That's right. We need to steal the keys almost simultaneously. Since you're better at this than me, I should probably go first. All right. I'll take up position behind the target. Call me when you've made the pull, and I'll pounce. Affirmative. This is logical. All right, here we go then. Let's get position then. Yeah, you need your power glide for this bit. And I don't think, see, I don't think he has the key yet, does he? No, he's not got anything in his pocket. Fair news. All right, I'm let's get ready. I'm in position for the pull. The second you get your key, I'll go for this one. Roger, I'm on route for key number one. Mm -hmm. It's kind of cool. It's kinda, Like I said, it's kind of cool having Bentley have a, have a pickpocketing um, ability. Anyway, I guess we should go over the grapple cam. Should we go over the grapple cam? Uh, yeah, so, remote camera with, uh, amazing abilities. <laughs> Literally, like, there's, like, four or five jobs over the next few episodes that involve the, the grapple cam. I think the grapple cam was brought into episode three in its earliest, I think. So, yeah, so, I guess they're kind of useful. I like the grapple cam, like, later on in episode five, because the grapple cam gets upgraded to a very, a very good, um, upgrade. It's a uh, story related. It's not a um, it's not a purchase from the gadget store or anything like that. Okay, Mr. Monkey, where are you going? Okay, got the spinner. Perfect. I thought for a second we're going to get caught then. All right, here we go then. Let's make the pull. Just that fishing. Go take your time and just reel it back. That's all you have to do. Yes, sir. I've got the first key. Go for the second before the guards call in. Mm -hmm. There you go, a little bit of a timer, I believe. There you go, easy enough. Excellent, the key's intact. Let's meet in front of the general statue for the handoff. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to wait. So, yeah, so basically you could go around if you want, but let's just, let's just wait for a passing boat, shall we? Yeah, these, um, I forgot the name of them. I do remember, I do know the name, I uh, looked it up like the other year or so, but 
For the love of me, I can't remember them right now. I probably will put something in the top right hand corner explaining what they are. Saying that though, the last like X amount of episodes of any flavor, I've not really been doing any excess like editing or anything. Clips or um Logical Park. Yeah, you know, doing like clips or little funny text or anything like that. No, I'll be quite basic recently. I need to get back into doing that. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, kind of funny we went the other way, eh? Nice work. With this second key in my grapple cam, I'm all set up for the inner office. Mm -hmm. Sure you won't need my help on the inside? I'm afraid this is a problem only technology can solve. Right. Well, have fun with your, uh, technology. Don't wait up. This could go all night. This is the 21st century, by the way. You're outdated, uh... Your outdated pickpocket ain't gonna hurt with this, is it now? Only people with big brains can solve this job out. Don't know what's going on. I was trying to go for my typical nerd voice, but I ended up mixing a little bit of vacuum with it. <laughs> only here, folks. Only here you will find such madness. Got another logical bar. Nice. We got another gadget soon. Okay, we're clear. Not quite. Let's get a quick little snipe down here if we can. Nope, missed. Shit, come on. Come on before we caught. Fuck. Wow. All that, eh? Let's go you. Honestly, four shots. Four. <laughs> Curse my aiming. I think Bentley needs some stronger glasses, I think. Yeah, it's definitely Bentley's fault. Definitely Bentley's fault. Alright, let's get any of them. Okay, Zivan and Satoul. And this is where the grapple cam comes into effect. I really do like the grapple cam, I'm not gonna lie. You weren't kidding about the security in this place. Hope your grapple cam can lure a guard onto that pressure plate, otherwise you're never getting into that upper level. Nope. So, just for a grapple camera, so. And you press R2 again, or whatever button you assign it to, and there we go. So, the grapple cam has a few buttons. We got grapple, so basically, you press once to attach. Once you do, you press it again, and that's where you, that's where you're moving. Uh, you have self-destruct, which can do a little bit of damage to a guard, but we don't need to. Exit when you want to exit out of the thingy. And you got circle, where you can lure guards, which is pretty nice, so I just gotta do... A little bit of this. Over here. So yeah, so by luring, it lures any guards to the area. Hey Fatty! Come over to this position! Follow the sound of my voice! <laughs> Yo, ugly! Yo, mama! Hmm. Got to be in a certain spot. Him, so we'll stay on the plate. Okay, so you for strangle to exit. And good night. Yep, good night, kitty. Alright, that opened the door to the upper office. Lure that top guard onto the second pressure plate, and it's sure to turn off the door lasers. Mm-hmm. And just to let you know, do not, do not, do not, do not, do not, do not. Uh do not kill the guards when you manage to get into this area in a second. Just because I think it fails the job, I think, just because you need them on the... Just because you need them on the pressure plate to, uh, you know, obviously keep the doors open. If they're not there, what can I die do? I'm yelling at you! Yeah, the, uh, the grapple... The grapple controls are a little finicky, I'm not gonna lie. Hey. There we go, the second one. He's on the plate. Should we go for a headshot? Or a glaive shot, I guess? Really? Hmm. Way's all clear. Good thing you've got that afterburner. Hmm. With nothing to climb on or to jump off of, it'll be your only means to the computer in the upper office. Yeah, pretty much. No reason why the hoverpack's really good. 
Yeah, I believe, um, I believe those big halberds are called Guandals, I think. Or am I thinking of the, uh, the swords? I think I might be thinking of the swords, but I'm sure they're called Guandals. Hmm. Who knows? Just because one of the series that I'm going to be starting this year is, um, a action fighting beat -em up series called Dynasty Warriors. And one of the, um, one of the characters called Guan Du uses a similar kind of weapon, and I'm sure it's called a Guan Dao or something like that, I'm not sure. But yeah, I'm going to be starting that, like, soon. I'm going to start with number two. Because be number one was a one-on-one -on -one fighting game. Didn't really come to his own until the second one, but that's in the future. The wedding data must be behind these firewalls. Hopefully, so look. If we can get past this guy, and yes, we do have to take this guy out. So yeah, just do the old rotate, go around the circles mechanic. Kind of uh, that strategy, and we should be good. Do, 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 do. Come on, come on, get it down, you. Nice. All right, second phase. Yeah, a little harder to sign because we're in a, a close circle. There we go. Time for the third one. Oh, right, we've got two. Okay, so we've got two to deal with. We have two turrets and we have suiciders, grill, or interceptors. Just the same tactic applies, just rotate in a circle and just aim what you can. Take the odd hit if possible. Come on, then you go now. There you go. Just throw one in. Don't even worry about the turrets as long as we don't keep them on on screen. Um, Bob Jonkle. Nice. Uh -huh, the database is wide open. I'm a capital G genius. <laughs> there we go. Draw complete. No, I'm not sure if it kicks us out of the the building automatically. If it does, that'd be kind of cool. Save us a bit of time. Yeah, it looks like it does. Cool. All right, final job. Get the job. <laughs> yeah, final job for day one, and then uh, and then I think I'll call it an episode. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? You're kidding me on, right, dude? Really? Fucking really? What was just to that? Eh? Sleep dog. One sleep dark one garden and the one fucking turns around the corner. Oh fucking hell. Guy's got loose well. Okay, yeah, he that guy's off ski. Right, let's get a little bit of revenge and steal his back pockets, huh? Can't believe that, eh? Of all bloody chances. Nice. <laughs> Medium nugget. It's got solid gold in his pockets. Alright, I think I can jump down. Nope. Jump down here in a second. Alright, here's old Porky. Good night. Nice. So, uh, you, actually, do you know what reminds me, right? Um, I'm recording this on the 24th, and a couple of days ago was actually my, uh, my birthday, right? And. My parents call me a birthday card, right? And, um, like, one of my favourite kind of birthday cards is, like, you know, the one that makes, like, jokes and stuff, you know? And one of them was a black and white card, and on there was uh, Winnie the Pooh. He says, Oh boy, I surely do, Miss Piglet, but that was a nice bacon sandwich. <laughs> oh, fucking brilliant. Alright, let's start job, eh? This is it. General Sal's palace. If we're gonna get at the Panda King's daughter, we'll need an inside track on the wedding. I'm ready with my costume. With some luck, he'll hire me on as the wedding coordinator. Great. If you get a chance, try to score the rest of us some jobs as well. You can't have enough operatives on the inside. So, if... <laughs> Trying to get some jobs on the inside? Okay, let's think. If Bellin was the wedding coordinator, the guru, probably the priest... No, you can't come out yet, my Blossom. But, please... My father will be so worried. Just let me tell him I'm alright. 
I beg of you, sir, let me out of this prison. Is this the way you woo your wife? You have shown me nothing but cruelty. I'm so unhappy. <laughs> so what, regarding jobs. If Bentley wants to be the wedding coordinator, Sly... I don't really know what Sly's going to be. Uh, but I'll explain in a second with the job. Guru could probably be the priest. Um, Penelope, the bridesmaid. So would that make Marie the official wedding taster of the cake? <laughs> Probably gulp in one, wouldn't it? Alright then. Where is this asshole of a guy? Oh wait, it's over here. There we go. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, the biggest cock in the world. Greetings, Honorable General Sal. I have heard of your impending marriage and have respectfully come before you to offer my services as wedding coordinator. How insulting! I need no help. My apologies, I mean no disrespect. Given my genius, I am of course completely capable of organizing the event. However, I might be interested in employing a photographer. A day of such momentous import should be captured for future generations to marvel at. I have one of the world's best photographers on retainer. Really? Well, if he truly is world class, then he might get the honor of chronicling the event. However, I'll need to see some samples before I give him the job. Of course, I'll have him come by right away. You'd better not be wasting my time, wedding planner. I get very, very uncharitable when people waste my time. Alright, egotistical prick. Mm hmm. So far up his own arse, he can smell the back of his own beak. I'll tell you that now. Okay, Sly. General Sal wants some samples of your work. I've placed waypoints in areas with good photographic potential. Approach the guards while in costume, and they'll probably pose for you. Good luck, pal. Yeah, simple enough. Anyway, we get access to our second disguise now, the China disguise. Photographer. Nice. And there we are. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Right proper hipster, eh? Oh, yes. <laughs> the mustache, the black cap and everything, eh? Yeah. He's even got the big camera, but you know something? When he's taking pictures, he doesn't even use it. He uses Binocicom camera instead. <laughs> Mental. Stop there. What's the wedding password? What's the wedding password? Yeah, here it is. Okay. Sun, moon, sun, sun. Sorry, just being careful. No, you're right. Listen up, meatheads. General Sal wants some pictures of his staff. So big smiles all around, mm -hmm. or else. Yep. Plus the camera down against the Pinocchicom. What a darling couple. Great shot, but you'll need a few more before talking with General Sal. Mm-hmm. No problem. No, I think the next one's up here. It is. Okay, cool. Just, just walk. No problem. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. I was surprised how quick we're actually flying through these episodes. I just checked the time. I've been recording for like half an hour or something like that. Sending password now. Okay, this was a little tricky. Perfect. Sun, moon, day, night. Oh, didn't recognize you. All right, you stupid guards. Put on some smiles and get in a nice pose. General Sal wants some happy photos. Get it? <laughs> happy photos. Jeez. Yeah, you gotta wait till it's together. Things start getting a, a little harder now. That's a good picture, Sly. One more should be enough to impress the general. Yeah. Eight out of ten. Alright, so that's the last one. Now the cool thing is, we can actually do a pretty cool paraglider jump from you. So we go up here, we go up here. Come on. There you go. I think we can actually get to the top here, I think, with a little bit of uh, manipulation, I think. I'm sure, I'm sure you do. Ah, come on. I used to do this, I'm sure I was able to get on top of you. So I'm somewhere or another. I think it's here? So here. There we go, yep. Oh, careful. I'm sure there's a way we can get up here as well. No? Hmm. I thought there was. Okay, it's not too bad. 
I thought maybe we can get to the top and just paraglide all the way from the top. I guess this will do. Ah, you. Do you know, I'd never, I never, 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 never had the urge to like power glide or, you know, fucking skydive or anything like that in my life. Honestly, just no thank you. I can switch the skies and let's jump down. Hey, give me the New Year's passcode. Easy one. Here you go. Uh, do, do, do. Perfect. Night, sun, 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 sun night. night. Yes, sir. My mistake. Okay, you two. Look happy. The general would like a nice couple shot. Now, here's the thing. We do that. You need a nice shot of the couple. And that obnoxious bird guy is messing up the composition. Get rid of him. Wink. Yep. That's so all you have to do. Sort that remedy out. Just, you know. Spike him, spike him out if you get my point. The look of love. Yeah, the look of love while somebody's doing a fucking Daniel Russo. That's some lovely <laughs> photography. Show those shots to the general. I'm sure he'll be impressed. I'll do. Oh, that is of his fucking mightiness. And likes him. Well, maybe if we take a few shots of him, we might be able to. Stroke his ego like he strokes his cock, the fucking cock. I'm gonna be calling him a cock a lot, you know. Hey Sly, get a few pictures of the general while you're in there. It's always a good idea to study your enemy. Yep, true enough. Uh, the paparazzi. Will I ever know a moment of privacy? Make sure you get my good side. It must be quite amusing to observe the effects of power. Why is it that I'm always the center of attention? Oh, nice shot! Here, check out this pose! Impressive, I know! Mm. Nah, just a lot. Nah, I was just gonna take a picture of his tail then. Nah, we're not, we're not giving him the fucking satisfaction, the fucking narcissist. Piss off. <laughs> I talk to the general now while you've got him. Greetings, Bust General Sal. As you have no doubt guessed, I'm the world-class photographer hoping to play a humble role in your upcoming magnificent wedding. Hmm. Let me see a sample of your work. I have a keen eye, a great sense of artistic value. I can tell at a glance if you're world-class. But of course, your excellency. Ah, hmm. You have a strong sense of, uh, compositional regularity and, a uh, forced perspectivism. These are adequate. You may have the honor of photographing my wedding. A thousand thank yous, my lord. I'm sure it will be a wedding none of us will ever forget. Did you hear the, the brief pauses where he's trying to think of what to say? God, I fucking hate it when people do that. I really do. Oh, let's just think of a big fucking word first, I say, eh? Anyway, blueprints or slideshow time. The operation is running smoothly. With access to General Sal's database, and Sly successfully hired on as the wedding photographer, we are ready to make an attempt for Jing King. Given the complexity of Sal's downloaded data, I've programmed my ThiefNet computer to automatically analyze the... What the... General Sal! Mm -hmm. He's... He's got my computer! Our whole plan is on that computer! How'd he find us? We're doomed! Bentley, calm down. I need you sharp. Listen up, team. This Sal character is more clever than any of us thought. As of this moment, we have one goal. Steal back the ThiefNet computer. The time for subtlety is over. Bentley, break into the palace and ransack his personal computer. He might have linked it to ours. If so, that's where we'll start. The rest of the team will stand ready. No telling where this might take us. Nope, but we're gonna have to leave that on a nice little cliffhanger, because I've recorded long enough now. So yeah, so basically this isn't day two just yet. Uh, still continuation of day one, but hey. To be extremely honest with you, I mean... Bentley said it there, you know, oh, I put my beefnet laptop to blah blah blah, so basically, 
he's done a reverse connection basically, a bug if you will, a tracker. And well, not to mention, I mean, it's not, I mean, not exactly, this safe files is, um, the safe files not exactly blending in, is it? It's on the fucking side of a mountain. So yeah, I mean, at least the others were somewhat, you know, disguised to some degree, maybe. I mean, episode one was a big warehouse. I don't know. Number two it was a, an old lodging house, I think it was. Number three was in a, a bloody hotel room. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like the safe houses and slide two were just a little bit more blendy, blended in with their environment. But I don't know, this one's just a bit weird, but whatever. Right, well anyway my friends, that's gonna be it for me today, so thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like on today's episode if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Links down below, check them out if you wish. Apart from that, enjoy the rest of your awesome day. I'll see you next time. Take care.